I'm going to introduce you our machine 8-in-1 multifunctional marker press, which is mainly used to transfer colorful pictures of flat products like a mouse pad, t-shirts, or tiles, also on marks, plates, and also pads. The machine consists of power line, an instruction book in English together with the uh, instruction disk, a heat press, which is also the uh, body of the whole set, four different shapes of marker heaters, two different sizes of plate press, together with the one head press, all different parts connected with the body with those connectors. Next, I'm going to show you the flat press. The flat press is made up of silicon board, heating board, digital manipulation board, which is also called digital board, pressure handle, and swelling pressure judgment. Next, I'm going to show you how to transfer a colorful picture on a blank mouse pad. The things I need are a piece of uh, colorful paper, a blank mouse pad, together with the high temperature resistant tape. First step is to telemap the heating board, put the blank mouse pad on the silicon board, and then close the heating board. At the same time, try to rotate the pressure adjustment screw to get the most appropriate pressure. After adjusting the most appropriate pressure, then we have to set the temperature and the time for making the mouse pad. First step is to plug the power line on the alternate. Be careful that the outline on the machine is at the end, at the back of the digital board. Now we plug in. Then turn up the switch to turn on the machine. Now let's look at the digital board. It's made of three parts, the screen, three inductive lights, temperature set and time. The case from left to right is the minus, the mode, the plus, and the executive. We turn on the mode key for once. The set light is turning red. 200 Fahrenheit is the initial heating temperature. We press the mode key for the second time. We see the temperature and the set turning red. Then we press the plus and the minus to set the temperature for the mouse pad. It should be 360 Fahrenheit. Then the temperature is set. We press the mode key for the third time. We see the set and the time lights turning red. Then we set the time for the mouse pad. It should be 15 seconds. Now the time for the mouse pad is set. We press the mode key for the last time. We say all lights are turning off. Then we produce the executive key to make the machine preheat. While the press is preheating, we need to make sure that the heating board is open. And at the same time, we need to do some preparation work. For the preparation work, we need to put the blank mouse pad at the center of the colorful picture and then use the high temperature resistant tape to stabilize it. And then let's wait until the machine is ready. After we hear a long heating sound, we need to press the executive key. Now we press the executive key and then turn up the heating board. 
who the prepared mouse pad at the center, then close the heating board and press the executive key again to wait another no beam sound. Then we take the prepared mouse pad out. Now it means it's ready. We press the key again and then open the heating board. Take out the mouse pad and peel off the paper. Now a mouse pad is being done. Next, I'm going to show you how to transfer a picture on a blank mark. The tools I need are a mark press heater, a piece of paper, a blank mark, together with the high temperature resistant tape. During the preparation work, we need to first draft this piece of paper around the mark and then use the temp high temperature resistant tape to stabilize the paper on both sides. Then the preparation work is done. And then we need to change the connector. We need to loosen the connector of the flat press and then put the connector for the mark together with the main body. First, we need to take the connector for the press out. Unscrew. Pull it out. And then connect the connector of the mark press together with the body. We just need to pull in and then stabilize it. Now the replacement work is done. Next, we need to set an appropriate pressure for the mug press. First, we put the mug inside the mug heater. Close the pressure handle and then rotate the pressure adjustment screw to set the most appropriate pressure. Then we turn down the machine to set the time and the temperature. Since the time and temperature for the mark is the same as the mouse pad, that is 360 Fahrenheit and 15 seconds, so there is no need to reset. We just need to press the executive key to make sure the machine is preheating now. While it's preheating, make sure we put a mark, a blank mark, inside the heater to preheat together with the machine. Well, hearing this long beam sound, it means that the preheating has been done. Now we just need to press the executive key, then turn on, open the mark heater, take this mark out, and then put the we are prepared to mark with colorful picture on inside the mug heater. Then we close it. Then turn on the executive key to wait for another beam sound when it's ready. This heating sound means that the mug is ready. Now we just need to press the executive key and then open the mug heater. Take the mug out and then peel off the paper. Then a mug is done. 
Next, I'm going to show you how to change a mark heater because we all have four mark heaters. Let me take an example for this 12 ounce mark. First, we need to take the connector out from the body. As we can see, there are four screws. We need to loosen all of them. Then take this heater out. Change it to a 12 ounce heater. So first put it inside. Then Stabilize them using the four screws. Then a mark heater is successfully changed. It works the same for the rest 10 ounce and the 17 ounce mark heater. Then I'm going to show you how to transfer a picture on the plate. As I introduced before, we have two different sizes of plates. One 8 inches, one 10 inches. Today I'm going to show you how to do a 10 inch plate. The tools I need are a 10 inch blank plate, a colorful picture, the 10 inch plate press together with the high temperature resistant tape. First, we need to do the preparation work. We put this colorful picture at the center of the blank plate. Then, we use high temperature resistant tape to stabilize the picture. Then the preparation work is done. Next step, we need to connect the plate press with the body. First, we need to take out the connector for the flat press. We need to unscrew this connector, take it out. Then, we will find two screws down here at the top of the heating board. Then, I turn a screw both of them. Then we take out the heating board. Then we install the plate press on this part. Then stabilize the screw. Connect the connector and stabilize the screw here. Then the replacement work is done for the plate. And then we need to set the most appropriate pressure for the plate. It works the same as the flat press. We need to put the plate on the silicon board close the pressure handle, then rotate the pressure adjustment screw 
to set the most appropriate pressure. Then we need to turn down the machine to set the time and the temperature. For the plate, the temperature is 360 Fahrenheit. The time is 15 seconds, the same as the mouse bed we already set before. Then we need to press the executive key. Now the machine is preheating. This long beam sound means the preheating has been done. Now we need to press the executive key. Turn left the press. Put the mark. Put the plate on the silicon board. And then close the press. Then turn down the executive key to wait for another beam sound until it's ready. This beam sound means the plate has been done. Now we need to press the executive key and then take the plate out. Peel off the paper and then we can say a plate is done. Next, I'm going to show you how to transfer a picture on the cap. The tools we need are the cap press, a picture, a blank cap, together with the high temperature resistant tape. The first step is to stick the picture on the head. And then stick the other side. Then the preparation work is done. Next, we need to connect the cap press with the body. First, we need to take the connector out for the flat press, which is like what we have done before. Unscrew, take this out. Unscrew. Connect the connector on the body, stabilize it, then the replacement work for the cap press is done. Next, we need to get the most appropriate pressure for the heat press. First, turn left, pull the cap on the mold. Then close the handle pressure. At the same time, rotate the pressure adjustment to get the most appropriate pressure. Next step, turn on the switch to turn on the machine to set the time and the temperature for the heat press. For cap, it's the same like uh, for mouse pad. The temperature is 360 Fahrenheit and the timing is 15 seconds. We will set before. Now we need to only press the K to make the press preheat. When we hear this long beam sound, it means the preheating has been done. We now need to press the executive K. 
10 left, the date press, crudely well prepared mark on the mold. Then close the machine. Press the executive key another time to wait until another long beam sound. This beam sound means that the cap has been done. Now we need to press the executive key, open the machine, take out the head, and peel off the paper. Then the head is done. So this is the introduction for 8-in-1 multifunctional marker press. Should you have any other question, feel free to contact our salespeople. Thanks for your attention. Have a nice day.